Today we are going to review using the MDET Inscribe platform version 6.5 to edit your voice recognition, also called speech recognition dictations. You will first need to install the latest version of MDET from the link supplied to you. Please remember that MDET does not support any versions of Windows prior to Windows Vista and does not support Mac computers. Once MDET is installed on your PC, start the Inscribe program by using the shortcut created on your desktop. Be sure your foot pedal is unplugged at this time. The MDAT Inscribe login window will appear. Here you will type in the username, password, and company code that was provided to you. You will need to put a check mark in the download dictations on login box. This will enable your dictations to be downloaded automatically when you log in. Click on login. At this time, you will need to configure your foot pedal. If the foot pedal configuration wizard does not automatically open, click on the file tab, click on options, then click on foot pedals, and then plug in your foot pedal. Click on foot pedal configuration wizard and follow the prompts. You will only need to do this for the first time you log in. You will now be in the dictation screen. Your available dictation should begin to download automatically. A status bar appears in the bottom left-hand corner to show you the status of your downloads. Once the first file has been completely downloaded, you can begin editing that report. Other downloads will continue in the background. Your downloaded dictations appear at the top of the screen. By default, the maximum number of dictations is three. The report that you are working on will be highlighted on, in blue when you click on it to choose it. Downloading a dictation will enable the function keys arranged at the top of the page. We will briefly discuss the most commonly used functions. I suggest using these within the program itself rather than your keyboard, as they may have been set up as other functions on your own computer. F1 is the next field. We do not use this function. F2, play, plays and pauses the dictation playback. F3, rewind, this rewinds the dictation playback. F4, fast forward, this fast forwards the dictation playback. F5, add associate, we do not use this function. F6, copy dictation, we do not use this function. F7, complete, this function will run the spell check and mark your dictation as complete. However, it does not submit your dictation. F8, mark for review, we do not use this function. F9, save. This saves the selected transcription. F10, auto text. We do not use this function. F11, show pool. This displays the work currently available for transcription. F12, next. Importantly, this will upload your current dictation and begin the download of another dictation for editing. To begin transcribing, first listen to the template number the dictator gives you. To insert the template, click on the Data tab, and then select ABC Dictation in the Templates box. Select the template number dictated and then hit Insert and Close to insert the template and close the list. You'll edit your dictation and then press F7 Complete to run the spell check. Again, this also marks your dictation as complete but does not upload it. If you need to go back into the document to make further changes, pressing F7 a second time will unlock the spell check function. Once you have run spell check and made necessary corrections, you will press F12 next to submit the dictation. Another dictation will begin to download to your pool. An instructor will manually merge 23 of your 25 transcribed dictations for your review. You can view these and end that by going to the View tab and then clicking on QA Feedback. A new page will open and any merged reports listed. There will be five listed per page. They will be instantly recognizable as merged because the grade will read 100%. You will get two graded reports at the very end, which will have been chosen randomly from all 25 reports. You will receive feedback only on the graded reports, not the merged reports. The feedback will be listed on the left-hand side of the page. So I'm selecting a report 
opening it by clicking on it. The feedback is on the left hand side. I click on the feedback error or the error to show the feedback. The feedback will be listed on the left-hand side of the page. Click on the error type to view the feedback given. Click on My Version to view your original work. Uncheck Show Changes if you prefer not to see the colors. Click on X in the top right-hand corner to close the page. Check your query feedback every day or two to see if any merge reports are ready for viewing. When you have just finished all 25 reports, you will need to check MDA each day until you receive your graded reports. You can move forward in the regular course once all 25 reports are completed. Do not delete MDA inscribed from your desktop after the speech recognition unit as you will need it again for the psychiatric reports. This is the end of the video. I hope you have found it to be helpful. Thank you.